Hi YouTube and welcome to another video from Rich Co Photo. Today I've had a question from a subscriber who's been talking about doing voiceovers using iMovie. So I'm going to do a quick video. Here it comes. Watch it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. So what I'm going to do is just take a little clip here from one of my older videos. So let's just take out, I don't know, 30 seconds or so. Okay, that'll do and drop that down onto the timeline. Okay, so this is the video. Let's take the volume, or the volume down to zero. In fact, while well, I'm here, I'll show you how to detach it. So you do a right click, and you come down, it says detach audio, detach the audio. So there's the audio from the video clip, and obviously that's the video clip. So let's get rid of that, and let's look how to do a voiceover. So let's just say you wanted to start it around this point here by the cannon okay so you click on there put the line across your timeline where you want it to be then you press V on your keyboard and it brings up the recording and it shows you on there as you can see the up and down green light to say that it is working then all you do is you want to start it in that position so it will give you a countdown one two three and it will pay, place this cursor slightly further back and then as it runs forward as soon as it hits that position you can start talking and let me show you what I mean and then you would do your voiceover and as you can see it's actually recording as I'm going and it's telling me that it's going along not quite nicely underneath and I'm talking briefly about what's going on there's the cannons, all the tables and everything when you want to stop you just press the stop button and then you've got your chunk recorded there so it started exactly in the right place where we wanted it to and then you would do your voiceover and as you can see it's actually recording as I'm going and it's telling me that it's going along not quite nicely underneath and I'm talking briefly about what's going on there's the cannons, all the tables and everything when you want to stop you just press the stop and there you go so it it's a useful feature um, the microphone on my uh, MacBook is quite good so it tends to pick up the sound quite well but you could always use a um, headset with a microphone or a separate microphone and add that in so that's how you do a voiceover on iMovie. So well, I hope you found that video useful. If you did, like I said, comments below, thumbs up, like the video, let's get it out there, let's share it. And thanks for watching. You have a great day.